from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. I'm tracking that level one risk for strong storms across a large chunk of the state, and I've been looking at the dynamics that are going to be at play. There's not a whole lot of energy there, so that risk is really on the lower end. Anything that develops will be very isolated as far as severe, uh, but we're going to be watching for a damaging wind and hail. Those are going to be our primary culprits, and of course, with thunderstorms, sometimes the rain can come down a little bit hard, so still that very low end risk of seeing some isolated flooding. But the day actually is going to be mainly dry. Look, those rain chances are near zero through six o'clock and that's whenever most of us are out and about doing all of our errands, working and all that good stuff. Uh, those rain chances really do not build in until we head into the evening hours. So don't be expecting these storms to interrupt your kids pick up from school or any of your errands here. Uh, those showers and thunderstorms are going to be off to the north and west of us as we start off our day. It will glide closer and as we get into the thick of the day into the afternoon, I am expecting thunderstorms to really gain momentum, but that's going to be mainly north and west of us. So I think folks that are in places like Pittsburgh, Hagerstown, we're going to have the better opportunities to pick up uh, the more intense line of showers and thunderstorms. Watch what happens as we go from 5 p.m. to let's say uh, around 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. Most of that energy dies on off. Uh, still a little bit of a burst there where I expect some breezy winds, but you're not getting those intense reds. Uh, so that rain chance uh, and of course that thunderstorm threat dies as we head through the day. If you're making your way around town, the numbers are going to be warm. We're talking hot and humid getting into the upper 80s, low 90s through the afternoon with heat indices that are actually going to reach 95. So going to be a bit sticky and the winds do kick up as we get past around six or seven o'clock tomorrow evening. So we'll get a bit breezy winds gust roughly to about 25 miles per hour. And in and as we head into your Thursday, keeping clouds in place, a couple of sprinkles for the morning, but the better chance for showers and thunderstorms will return to the forecast as we head into the afternoon as that front kind of meanders around here. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s through the evening, and then those rain chances start to diminish as we head into the overnight hours. Unfortunately, I have to keep that rain chance around Friday into Saturday as that front is eventually going to lift back northward as a warm front, warming temperatures up to 87 degrees for your Sunday, keeping things dry as we head into next week with daytime highs in the mid 80s. The good news here, tropical depression Nicholas has been uh, downgraded to a depression. It is still producing lots of rain, lots of flash flood warnings out there. We're watching two areas for development in the Atlantic, one that's north of Hispaniola, the other one just off of the coast of Africa.